No messing around with this one. We're going to get straight into it. A lot of you have been asking me for this. Uh, how uh, how my template is set up. Before we go any further though, uh, like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it then. How does my template work? So then, uh, here we are then. This is uh, my template. Uh, it's what I use. Uh, but you, if, if you're a user of Logic, you can make your own templates, basically. And uh, it just means you can go back and use that template over and over again. It's it's clear. Or you can leave things in it if you need specific things every time uh, you make a jingle. Uh, but this is my template uh, made of multiple channels, which I'll go through one by one. Uh, unless they do uh, sort of uh, re resemble the same one as last time. Uh, also, my uh, output as well, I'll go through those, and the mixer, and show you any sort of uh, buses that I use uh, while uh, creating jingles or voiceovers or adverts. I, I said to use the same template uh, because it's all there, everything I need. Right, so let's start with number one. That's usually a good place to start in the world of numbers. Uh, number one is my uh, recording track. Basically, this is just a, a mono track. Uh, directly with my connected to my um, audio interface where my microphone goes into, I can arm this uh, just here using the the red button, of course, the record button. Hit record, and away we go. Uh, so let's let's just do a little uh, test um, recording so I can go through each um, channel with you uh, in this video. So let's just do a quick recording. Uh, let's do this. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. Pretty good. Right, so we'll just quickly uh, tidy that up and then we'll put some little ends on it. We don't need to, it doesn't, it's not going to make any difference, we'll chop it all up. So what we'll do now, we'll go through each each channel uh, using that little bit of audio to show you how things sound. So that's my recording channel, and I record everything on that channel, all the takes. Uh, everything I do goes on that channel because it's basically, it's, it's raw. There's, there's no sort of compression, there's no EQ, no reverb, no nothing on that channel. Uh, so that is my raw channel. Sounds like this. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, a little bit cheesy. It's all right, it's all for fun. Uh, channel two then is my uh, compressed vocal. So basically, uh, it's just the same again, just with comp uh, some, some compression on which I'll show you shortly. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, so it's just a bit fatter, fatter sound. And all that is, is a compression, a compression uh, plugin. The, the built-in one with Logic, uh, preset, hard vocal, that's it, that that's all it is, uh, hard vocal setting, it's in the settings, if you go to voice, uh, hard vocal, there we go, that's all that's in there, um, that's what I do, all my uh, clear, sort of dry voiceovers on. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. And then what I can add, if I need to, is some EQ. And I've got this little preset that I've made. It's called Craig Voice Default. Uh, I do sort of adjust it, give it a bit more sort of bass in places. So we'll just do, do around this section here, and we'll move this. Get a bit of a, a bit of high end on it, the magic as they call it, the tingle. Do that, and if I go back to the start, this is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. If you're wearing headphones, you might hear a seagull in the background. I think there's just one flying over as I recorded that. Never mind. Uh, all for show. But there you go. That's, that, that's, that was it with it on. Let's just do a quick one with it off. We'll just go back to the start. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, on and off, it's a bit of a, it's very, still quite bassy. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, so that's my sort of, uh, my default EQ, which I adjust, obviously to how I want it, if I want something a bit more sort of uh, muddier, not that you do, but if it, if it is too muddy, the, vo the vocal, 
I can now remove that using my uh, preset. There you go. That's that's a preset that we we can use right through um, the the recording process. So let's bring it down again. This one is channel three. This is called uh, 250 hertz vocal cut. So basically, uh, same again. Compression, uh, which we have in the uh, channel two, and an EQ built on this, which is just a cut at around 250, so 250 hertz. Uh, just a cut, and it just gives it this uh, slightly less bassy sound, but slight, slightly tinnier. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, something you can play around with there. Not something I use a lot, to be honest, but it, it's on there. Sometimes it works quite well. Uh, what have we got here? So, same thing again. Uh, compression on this one. Let me just move my uh, stand a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. That's better. Uh, so, same again on this one, channel 4. Um, compression, EQ. Uh, cut again at 250. And then I've added uh, a preset called... Uh, assemble, is it? Is it assemble? Ensemble. Sorry, Ensemble. Uh, with, again, with a preset, rich moderation. Uh, it just gives it this sort of wobbly sound. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. It's kind of nice. Uh, it gives it a little bit of a wobble, but it's similar to chorus, I guess, which is coming in next. Similar to chorus. Not quite, though. Uh, so that's uh, on, on, ensemble. Ensemble? Right, we'll go with that. Uh, then we've got uh, chorus again uh, on this channel. Compression again. Just to preset the, the chorus plug-in. Um, no preset on this one, but it's just at ten uh, percent intensity, thirty percent mix, and points. I, th I guess that's five hundred hertz. Yeah, because that'd be one point five. Yes, yeah, so it's five hundred hertz uh, rate. You can obviously change the rate if you want to. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go. So that's just a nice bit of a chorus. Sounds nice. Uh, and just to let you know as well, all these channels are all in mono, and they're all set to center. You can obviously you can change them if you wish. Depends how you want to use your uh, vocal. Uh, number six is a, wi a phone wideband. So this is just again uh, compressed, hard vocal compressed. Sorry, it's is it hard vocal. Yes, vocal hard compression preset uh, in the compressor. And then, and again, just just another preset. It's kind of all there, what you need. Obviously, you can play around and make your own presets and things and um, sounds. But this is just uh, the the phone filter wideband. Uh, that is under... Uh, phone filter is under... Phone filter is under uh, EQ tools, depending on what sort of version of logic you're using. You've got the phone filter notch, which is a bit more... Not, 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 as, uh, not as bright, I don't think. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, quite sort of a vintage sound to that one, but we're going to go with the uh, the wider one. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go, works pretty well if you want to make some sort of, maybe sort of vintage I don't know, 1950s, 40s style uh, voiceovers. Uh, good day and welcome and all that sort of thing. Um, so that's that one, pretty simple. Uh, just just a, a hard compression with uh, the preset EQ there. Seven is exactly the same. Uh, or is that, is that a different band? Oh, sorry, that's the, the phone filter notch. That's the other uh, filter. Same one, and that's just pan to the right. So what I can do, I can... Um, let's, let's show you an example. So if I put this in chorus, I can then duplicate uh, what I'm using, using uh, Control and C or Command and C, whichever you're using. Uh, and then if I paste this, just make it a little bit bigger, might be too far over. Yeah, let's go this way a little bit. Uh, I can use sort of things like this. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There you go. If that works like that, so that can it can even be used on its own. So just like that. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles. There you go. So I just use that as kind of like a, a layering uh, sort of effect, gives it a nice sort of stereo sound. 
Uh, so down to this one. And then uh, stereo left is pretty much the same. What we have on here is um, compression again. Uh, so everything's nice and big and fat. And then I've got an EQ where all I've done is uh, uh, boosted the bass, boosted the the the, the uh, top sort of stuff, the treble. A little tip I got from is it Mark Russell? There you go. We all, we all learn from each other. And then what I can do is the same with that is um, I put it on there like that, and then just slightly move this one over. You may have seen me do this on other jingles, the jingle packages. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. Just makes it a bit more bigger, a bit more epic sound, I guess. Um, so yeah, another little layering thing. And that's pan to the left, so that's hard left. Um, and that, again, that is uh, a mono, mono track. So you've got two mono tracks, making a stereo. Get this nice little wishy sort of washy stereo sound. Uh, and th that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That, that's the basics of what I've got there. All presets, uh, other than the stereo left, I make that one myself, but it's very simple to do. Very simple. And that that's sort of the channels I use. Sometimes I might add a duplicate channel, so if I want a little bit more, maybe I want one to do a bit more uh, reverb on one channel, one to be a bit more echoey. I can uh, duplicate those, uh, which is very simple to do in Logic. You just uh, edit, um, sorry, track, other, New track with duplicate settings, you just highlight the track you want to duplicate, it'll make a duplicate setting. Simple. Uh, then underneath that, I've got uh, five FX tracks. This is just where I put all my sound effects and bits and pieces, uh, anything I like to use. They're all stereo tracks. As you can see, they're simple means stereo. Uh, one to five, I can add more if I need to. Slight different panning and variations, but obviously I can adjust these as I go along. And then the very bottom one is if I want to add some music, I've just got it on its own track so I know where it is, so I don't have to go through all the effects and find it. I know if I put any sort of piece of music in, uh, it's down there on the bottom. That's a, a stereo track again. No, no compression, no sort of effects. You, you could put effects on it. It's entirely up to you, of course. Uh, the world is your oyster uh, when it comes to sort of producing things but that's uh, what I've got there and uh, also we have I'll, I'll explain this one by going back to these two tracks uh, is I also have um, some buses uh, some sends as you might like to call them uh, bus one is echo and bus two just a very simple reverb and obviously I can adjust then how much uh, echo and reverb I want on the track so I'll just put it on uh, this stereo left track for now it's popped up here. Um, there we go. I'll just put that on for now, and you'll hear the uh, re sorry that was uh, echo over the top of this. This, this is a, a test, test recording, recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. You just hear it tearing off at the end, and then there's uh, some reverb. Bus two is reverb. Again, just using the little dial here. Uh, let's choose how much let's put that. Let's put that much on. Let's just have a little guess and see how that sounds. We'll put that on the chorus one. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. There we go. There we go. Um, so everything is, you can see on the mixer. So there's all our channels. Um, recording channel, all coloured in. Just so I know. And then finally down the end, I've got the echo, which is the bus. Connected to the bus there. And uh, reverb. Let's just go into the actual settings of that echo if you want to have a look. So here's my echo setting. It's just a 1 8th. Repeat 64%. I think it's just a, a standard default that it's on, really. Um, I may have adjusted it myself a bit more dry. 96%, 78% wet. And yeah, that, that's just there. And then for uh, reverb, I love a bit of uh, space. Space reverb, I think that's what it's called. Space designer, of course, space designer reverb. Uh, 1.8 second reverb, open air stadium. Just because I, I don't know, I like to have a big reverb. You can obviously, sometimes I might have a, a long reverb uh, as a bus and a short reverb. It depends what I'm doing, really. Jingles, I don't really do because I, I just adjust it to how I like it, to how I like to hear. Um, but yeah, that, that's all in there. And then um, I've got a limiter. 
this is on the master now the stereo out so what, what actually comes out at the end when you, you bounce down so I've got a limiter uh, which keeps everything at uh, zero zero uh, decibels this is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice a lot of people would have that a lot lower around six uh, but my thinking is with jingles little tip for you little insider tip here that if you're a radio station it's far more important for your listeners radio tip radio tip here you can have this for free right uh, far more important for your listeners to know the name of the station or for it to be heard so if you're playing i don't know a, a track and then your your jingle is slightly louder that will grab somebody's attention as well that's not really listening is are they that's my theory obviously when it goes to a studio there might be sort of uh, bits of kit they've got that squashes it all down, compresses it all, compression and processing, and it'll sound a bit flatter than it actually is the sound. But you never know. Some some stations don't, so it just makes it a little bit louder for them, and that's the way I see it. Uh, just a bit more powerful than the actual music. Um, so where, where were we? We were looking at um, what were we looking at? Oh, sorry, I was on this limiter, wasn't I? So limiter, and then I use um, a heart, a, a multi uh, presser. So it's like a compressor, but it, it obviously it, it compresses and pushes up and down certain uh, areas of the the wave spectrum uh, using this. This is what I, I just have it on hard hard compression. I, I push down uh, sort of the mids. You can I think you can move these along as well, and then a little boost on top, and a little boost just uh, between the uh, bass, and it just gives me this big fat sound. If I take it off. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. Doesn't sound much different, but I can tell the difference. It doesn't sound like it's all squashed and wedged all together. It sort of sounds a bit everywhere. So if I put it on, listen to it again. This is a test recording to show you how I make jingles in this jingle voice. Yeah, you might not be able to hear it, the untrained ear sort of thing, but I can t sort of feel that it's. it seems like it's just just been nicely smoothed around the edges, if that makes sense. Nice, nicely cleaned up. Uh, so that is on my stereo out, so when I bounce down, that's the sort of the sound you get. Um, to the record, that's my washing machine, by the way, if you can hear that, never mind. So yeah, there you go, that's that's how I work. That's my template for making jingles. A lot of people asking me how I, I get the effects of I don't sort of make them myself. Well, things I use regularly, sometimes I might add an effect. If I think, oh, I could do with a little bit of that, that'll sound nice. Into the the um, template, tend to not save it, just keep to keep to what I'm used to. Yeah, but there you go. Um, yeah, if if that helps, if that's given you a little bit more idea, uh, do take these ideas that it's, it's not any sort of uh, hidden... What's the word I'm looking for? H hidden from any others. It's, it's, it's all out there anyway. It's what, it's what people do. It's what people use. Uh, so feel free to steal it. Actually, I'll be very nice and I will put the template. Uh, if you're a user of Logic, I, I, I don't know if it'll work on newer versions, um, but I will upload it to my website, craigk.co.uk forward slash uh, YouTube. It'll be under craigk.co.uk forward slash YouTube. I'll make it into a download file. It's just a small file. Um, it'll come with all the, the channels, the, um, uh, the, the, the buses, <laughs> the buses and it will have the the outputs as well on the stereo outs so you, have, you can get that nice sound obviously it's up to you how your voice sounds and what sound effects you use that doesn't really come with it but there you go yes that will be on my website at uh, craigk.co.uk forward slash youtube while you're there uh, you can join the new patreon page please uh, just going to keep the, the page going hopefully it just helps me uh, when I do give up time to do this so i can think oh it's okay i'm not doing it for free it doesn't matter if i do but anyway yeah, you can join that patreon uh on there and as also you can find all the free jingles and things that you can download for absolutely free at craigk.co.uk forward slash youtube don't forget to like and subscribe when we hit 400 subscribers 600 800 and 1000 and then probably 1200 uh we give away a free pack of jingles of different sort of styles i've got some new ideas that i can do uh coming very soon as well because we're getting quite close to 400 subscribers Ooh, listen to us anyway i'll see you soon